<laughs> Fifth, 15 minute intense full body sweat session. <sighs> Do you see all of this glistening? I am dying. Five rounds. And I so badly <laughs> wanted to quit. Oh, I wanted to quit. <sighs> but I had a moment where the guy leading the workout said, if you feel yourself losing momentum and you feel yourself slowing down, think about why you showed up today. Who are you doing this for? <sighs> for a lot of people. It's really easy to be like, I'm doing this for me. Summer is in a couple of months. Obviously, I need to get in shape. And that's true. And if that's your reason, props to you. But my why, my reason is more than that. Oh, I am literally pouring <laughs> sweat everywhere. I have a baby. He's a year and a half on Friday in two days. Two days. He'll be a year and a half. And he is getting more and more active by the day. And I love, I feel like my arm is shaking, trying to, hold, trying to hold this. I love how fun he is and I love how active he is. And I love being active and running around with him. And I just want to continue to be able to do so. I want to be able to keep up with him as he grows and as he gets bigger. And I think I've said this before, but it just in that moment when I wanted so badly to just quit and be like, you've already done four rounds. What do you need to do the fifth round for? That's why I need to do all five rounds because I would be cheating myself if I didn't. And I would be cheating out of my reason for doing this. My reason for doing this is myself too. Do not get me wrong. I obviously would love <laughs> to be back in pre-baby shape you're having a moment just remember your will snap you back in so if i finished that fifth round giving it my absolute all and welcome to the office guys you can come along with me as i get everything opened up and ready to go for the day got to get my stuff unloaded and then get everything set up and ready to go for my first client of the day, which in this case was a facial. I gotta get my music turned on, my towels ready, and get the lights turned down and ready to relax. I just wanna climb on that table and relax myself. <laughs> and now we fast forward to Sunday where I do my usual get ready with me. While I am keeping an eye on Bubba, in this case, he is starting off with breakfast off to the side. And then in a little bit, you will see him come and join me on my lap um, while I'm getting ready. What does the cow say? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Yeah.
Hey, hey, hey. Long time no talk. Um, I don't have any updates as far as nutrition coaching goes. Um, still feeling good. I'd say that's a, a pretty decent update. Um, but I haven't stepped on a scale, anything like that. Still trying to hit the protein goals every day, hit the water goals, convincing my husband that I need a Stanley cup <laughs> or a simple modern cup, you know, the big 40 ounce tumblers. Cause I'm like, I would so reach my water goals if I had a beautiful new cup to do so. <laughs> but anyway, I did just finish my workout and I wanted to touch on something um, that I talked about before with it. I wanted to give up so badly. I wanted to give up. But you know, I said before that when I wanted to give up, they were talking about your why. When you want to stop and you want to give up, think about your why. And so my husband has this card, <laughs> my little boy. This is part of a birthday card that my mother-in-law likes to do for him. Um, she prints, I have sweat running in my mouth and it is gross. But so while I'm right here working out in the living room and I wanna give up, <laughs> I look over at this little guy because he's the reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it for me, like I said before, I am doing it for me. But my biggest why is to be healthy for him. I just look over and I'm like, nope. I'm not giving up. I'm not doing it for him <laughs> and myself. <laughs> and now we are back at work, working on folding up some of my work laundry before my day starts and getting my table and room all ready to go. for the day and we are starting with an eyebrow wax. I am trimming up these brows and getting her ready to be waxed. clients I had a little bit of time so I took advantage of that time and went ahead and waxed and tinted my own eyebrows and decided to add that footage here for you so you can see what I do I had a branding photo shoot the very next day and I needed my eyebrows in tip-top shape
Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if they ever come back, cause it's root, root, root for the haunting. They don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes around and we go home in. <laughs> Hello! Happy Sunday! Today we just got back from church and I had to do practically an immediate turnaround. Um, I have a bridal show today and I've been meaning to show everything that I've put into it as the orders came in but as we've talked about before, my husband loves to unbox everything, so I didn't get to do any of that on camera. I get out of church until almost noon, and I am supposed to be at the venue at one for a setup. The show starts at two, and it goes from two to six. I'm just hoping that my nerves don't show. <laughs> I don't handle situations like this very well at all. Um, I've talked about that before when I went to an event at church by myself and I'm going to this by myself. The last time I did a bridal show, I was not by myself. Um, my mother was there to help me, to help me set everything up. And she stayed around to take photos and I had my friend come and I did a makeup demo on her and I'm not doing any makeup demos this time. So I have nobody with me. <laughs> So we're gonna see how this goes. I did for what it could do for my business. So we'll see what happens. I just wanted to check in and tell you guys that's what I'm up to today. I brought protein shake with me. Um, that's what I had to do yesterday. I didn't do any filming yesterday either. What in the world is wrong with me? I meant to do that. Um, yesterday I did makeup for prom, but my friend came and um, photographed it. We did some headshots beforehand and she did some product shots in my room, some shots of my room, shots of me doing makeup, all the things because I needed to do a branding shoot. So that was really fun and exciting. I wish I would have gotten footage of it, but I did not. A lot of fun things this weekend. We had the baseball game Friday night, the branding shoot yesterday, and then bridal show today. And then tomorrow is Bubba's doctor's appointment. I'm the first one here. Oh my goodness. Am I really? I am. Okay. Well, that's fine too. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm supposed to like park or anything. So just going to, I don't know, pull up here somewhere and hang out because I have no idea where to go or what to do um, it looks like some people are doing some kind of setup or lighting adjustments or something on the outdoor patio so my client is part of this as well my client at work <laughs> it's her sister-in-law that's putting it on they have a shark Charcut charcuterie I'm the ter I'm terrible with that word Char charcuterie 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 anyway those boards <laughs> that they make like the adult lunchables I like to call them because that's way easier for me to say <laughs> anyway she has a business for that so she's the one that's putting it on and my client recommended um, me to come the venue owner is on her way over here she might be telling me to go park somewhere else I don't really know but anyway they are who is a part of it and yeah okay yes she was coming to give me directions on where to go so I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna claim my spot and she's going to break down a table for me um, and then I'm gonna set up so let's see how this goes Okay, bridal 
Style Show is done. That was fun. Haven't done one in years. I don't remember if I said that earlier or not, but I haven't done one in years. So it was a good time. It was really good to get to meet the other vendors and see who all was there, what all they were offering. Um, really good networking and connections made. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, as well as obviously getting to talk to the brides. Happy that I went. Happy that I did it. And I don't believe that I came off as anxious and nervous as I was. <laughs> and that feeling honestly quickly went away. I didn't feel like it anymore. So it was a good, good time. Good morning. Happy Monday. It is April 24th now. Um, it's going to be the last day of the vlog. Finally wrapping it up. I have no idea. How long this one has been or how many days because there's been so much that I just didn't get footage of so I was trying to add in more day I've got to get in there and get my workout done I have a training um, at 11 I have to do for this new product launch this super secret product launch I don't think I've touched on it or talked about it at all but we have a product that is absolutely amazing and a complete game changer for at-home skincare. I'm excited. It's a full week of trainings on it. Um, I'm hoping that I can catch all the trainings live. We'll see today's trainings. There's an 11 a.m. one, my time, um, and one this evening. And then I believe the rest of the week they are evening training. Gotta get in there and get my workout done, do my training at 11, get ready. After that, pick up Jace by two, and then he has his 18 month doctor appointment at 2.30. But I'm gonna go get this workout done. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, da Doggy. 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 Puppy. Puppy. Huh? Ah, hug, so sweet. Oh. <laughs> Mama, Jace, my mama. Mama. No, 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 no. But she's mine. No, 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 no. But she's mine. 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 No, 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 no. So I realized. Uh, <laughs> I'd wear a mask at the um, doctor and it ruined everything, <laughs> just fine. <laughs> but I realized I didn't update after the doctor. So Jace is doing really good. He's just shy of 24 pounds, finally. Um, <laughs> finally, I keep waiting on him to make it to 25 pounds, but it's fine. He, his dad was always really tiny. Um, all the way up through high school and beyond, honestly. His sister is super tiny and always has been. So I kind of figured it was just in his genes. He's gonna be a little guy and he's still kind of short <laughs> for his age, but his appointment went good. He had to do lab work, unfortunately. Um, I guess at his 12 months or his 15 month, he was supposed to have his lab work to test for lead and a complete bud, blood workup. Um, but they didn't tell me to head to the lab at either of those appointments. So they did tell me today. And can I just say that holding your baby while they are screaming and bawling, it was hard. And I kept it together at the doctor, but when I got in the car, man, I started crying. Anyway, appointment went really good, and then I started making dinner, and I realized I'm missing two ingredients that never even made it to my grocery list. <laughs> I don't know why, um, so I had to run to the store. Thank you guys for watching.